So the next part is going to be the head unit of the grays. A few parts here. Take this. Take this part here. Stick it in through there. Then we have the back part here. Goes like that. No, like that. There we go. Push it in as best as it possibly can. Then we have the mono I think that goes there. These two parts. Stick them through here. And then put that there. There we go. That's pretty much it without the armor. But yeah, that is kind of cool. And of course, this come comes with the sticker that you put on it. But we're not using that right now because of, you know eventually we're going to end up painting it. Plus the fact that I really do not like this mono eye thingy. This weird center thing. You have, it has to open up its head just to scan the whole thing. True. Uh, in the anime, it probably would be a good idea to do that so it could protect the sensitive uh, equipment. But that's my interpretation. Yeah, yeah, not a big fan of it. Alright. Let's move on to the next part of the build. Next up is the arm frame unit with the grays. There's a few parts here, but they're pretty big parts, which I was a bit surprised seeing it. And pretty easy to assemble here. Just uh, take this this part here, put that there, and then take this one here. Connect it like so until it snaps, and that completes that. Now this one, you gotta be very careful with the orientation, and also be very careful what to use because no, oh, there we go. the holes there facing down the white part of the hole put that there and then take this put that through here this one through here and this one through here and then we'll put this hand the left hand and then this connector which Connects the inner frame of the uh, armor to the armor, that is. And here it is. The arms are now complete. Very simple, not too complicated, and very smooth. The only thing is that it's, only, it's a single hinge, not double hinged. So, you can have a lot of range of movement, but then again, I don't know how much range of movement you'll get with the armor. Alright? That completes that part of the build. Let's move on to the next. Next up is going to be the waist unit of the grays. This is actually pretty simple and small, you know, a few, few parts here. So, let's take this poly massive polycap here. Put it in there. Like that. Put that through here. And uh, keep it this way. And you have this part here. Hold on a second, I just want to confirm this. Okay. So that goes like that. Unusual angle, but I think that's fine. part is complete move on to the next part all right so now we're going to build the legs of the grays 1 100 scale again a few parts here but make up a lot of difference here once you put it together 
again minus the armor. First up, I'm going to take these two parts here. Slide this one in here like so. Pretty simple. Simple, simple. I'm going to take this part. Slide that in here like so. That completes this part of the belt. I am noticing something before we move any further. Missing number two. Get back to All right. Now, this part here. Keep it in this position. And with this one, actually, keep it in that position, actually. And then put this through here, like so. Until it goes there. And then this one, connect it like that. And with this one, stick that here. Followed by this. This is actually double hinged, so that's kind of cool. We have this little detail part here. Slides in like so. That also acts as a locking mechanism for this foot. We also have this part here. This part, it, it, at first, when I looked at it, I thought it was like a part of a hydraulic system, but it could be like more like a like a battery or a vent or maybe a thruster. Of course, I actually did that wrong. Come on. Goes the other way around. There we go. And then we take this, put that here. Then we take this, connect that. The last two, this poly cap that goes down here, this big one that goes in here. that up. Make sure it snaps in right. So I thought I saw a little bit of extra plastic. There we go. Connect that like that. Done. Alright. Nice. I kind of like the legs, how it looks. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look that much, but well, let's, put, let's put the kit together and see how it overall looks like. So that completes the legs. Let's move on. Put this graze together, or the inner frame of this kit, and see how it looks. Begin with the legs first, and uh, I believe that goes there. No, that's wrong. Oh, you gotta bring it down. Okay, so that's like that. That's like that. Okay. frame of the grays is now complete. Yeah. Pretty neat, I have to say. But I'm actually kind of not digging how that has to be in a specific angle. And I think I did this wrong. I think it goes the other way around. Ah, hold on, let me see. Fortunately, you could fix that easily. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that way. Much better. It has a good um, feel to it in a way how it's holding up. And I like the feet though, even though the feet's... The feet is not the best looking part of this kit. Granted, this is not a master grade, but its simplicity in its design keeps it stable. 
plus the fact that you're not dealing with major big and huge weaponry on it like you normally see on the on the uh, Barbatos or you need a you know you pretty much need a stand to hold it up so yeah th this is not bad this is actually really good um, I'm glad that I actually picked this up when it was on sale I should have built it when it first came out but at the time I wasn't actually thinking about you know what to do with it I, well at the time when it first came out I didn't know what to do with it until recently until I picked it up and then I said oh I have a, a great idea but I never seemed to get into building it yet for a size comparison I don't have the Barbatos here but here is my RX-78 II uh, one year war version and it's pretty much almost identical in height so it's pretty nice to see something like that yeah and I see a lot of possibilities here. You know what? That's another thing I should have I should have mentioned. When in the height of Barbatos and the IBO series uh, coming out, I saw more builds, more customization of of people using the Barbatos or um, the Gusian than they have used on the Greys. And, and you know, maybe I could be, could be completely and utterly wrong. But there were more. I never seen that many customizations using the grades, and you could see this. This is a great idea, you know, great kit to use for whatever possibilities you can think of. Um, but right, this is actually very, really, really nice. Good, very good. I'm gonna probably keep it like that for a while until we figure out what to do. But let me uh, clean up the table and begin uh, the assembly of the armored parts. So give me a few moments, and we'll begin.